Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we'll go over the area encounter within the Crota Ends Raid within Destiny 2. So for this encounter, you take a lot of what you've learned in the past and you kind of take that to the next level. You're primarily going to want to split up into two groups of three. Three on the right, three on the left for taking out ads and preparing you for some of the other encounters. The other thing is you're going to need three roles, which are people who basically are hunters. Those hunters actually go out and they try to find wizards. The wizards are what you need taking those down to start the DPS encounter for Uryut. And there's a timer on this, you need to be quick. Another role you're going to need is a scout. And that scout is someone who basically finds the wizards you need to start the DPS phase. There are rooms on the right hand side and the left hand side. If you remember the old Crota, there is two towers, a bottom and a top, and a bottom and a top on the right hand and left hand side. And there are three rooms at basically over the top of where you spawn in at. So there's a total of seven areas that you need to search in. In those seven areas, there are going to be four Shriekers, and there's going to be three Wizards. You only want to shoot the three Wizards because that's what you use to actually start DPS for this encounter. To be a scout, obviously, you need to be able to see in the rooms. Now, sometimes you'll be able to see in these rooms the actual things that are there. Sometimes you're not going to be able to because they're going to be hiding behind the pillar and you can't get into the room. So the easiest way to do it is either use Wish Ender, if you have Wish Ender, or use Void Hunter, where you can use True Sight to look in there. So again, there's a couple ways that you can do that. So again, as you start the encounter, three people go right, three people go left. You're gonna to wanna to kill as many ads as possible and all of the blistering knights. There's gonna be a ton of blistering knights that are scattered over the floor. I think there's a total of eight that you have to kill on each side. As you're doing that, work your way up the stairs and we usually drop a well or something like that towards the top of the stairs to try to take those out. Once you take out a certain number of the blistering knights, you'll see ads start to spawn from within the room that you used to be within back in D1. Go into that room and continue to clear blistering knights and there's also a shrieker. Take that down with your rocket launcher, preferably if you have one, or linear, or something that's long range, but take it down quickly because that can mess you up. Do that on both sides, and that's where the scout will come in. The scout's gonna then go and scout the rooms and try to determine where the wizards are. Now, everyone can do it differently. Um, some people do, you know, basically back and, and front with top and bottom. That is one way you could do it. What we did, we thought was simpler, is it's easier to remember numbers. What we did is we started from the left, from the top room. We went, the top left was one and two for bottom. Then we went three and four for top right and bottom right. And then for the back rooms, we basically, again, facing the front, we basically did five, six, and seven. You guys can number it however you want. That's what we came up with. But again, just have something your fire team can use consistently. While it's taking place, the person with the chalice is gonna to continue to passing around because remember, to get in those green doors and to kill the three wizards that start DPS, you need the enlightenment buff to be able to do that. To get the enlightenment buff, you're going to let your meter on your chalice completely go up and then have someone take it from you. When they take it from you, you're enlightened at that point. You're gonna again need three people to be enlightened because those are the three people that are going to have to go and kill the wizards to start DPS. You also want a fourth person that will need enlightenment because that person is going to expunge the boss to actually allow the DPS phase to be more effective. Once you do all that, one other person then will have the chalice and they can keep it if they want, but that's gonna be tricky during DPS. What I would do is if you have time, have that last person who got the chalice go back to the room underneath where you picked up the chalice and, per and basically park it so you have it for the rest of the encounter, but also so it doesn't build up and then you die because you forget about having that on. Because remember, if you have it for too long, you die. Also, you wanna be very careful about when you start killing wizards because once you do that, you start a liturgy timer that will wipe you if you haven't finished all of them by that time and, and ready for DPS. So again, get all those things in place, have the hunters at that point go in and kill the wizards, get up, set up for DPS and go to town. Now, the DPS way it is, it is, it is gated. So you can blow through the gates if you're really aggressive, but that is in place so you can't just completely burn the boss down quickly with different strategies. So continue to do that for, you could get in two phases, it's probably gonna be a three phaser, right? Depending on your weapons and, and things like that. I would say weapons just depend, um, she does move around quite a bit. So rockets are really good, but you gotta keep in mind she's gonna move. So if that doesn't work for you, then you can obviously go back to linears or things like that. Um, but again, 
continue doing a DPS. And then once that resets, you're basically gonna do the same encounter again, right? You're going to you know, trade the buffs across. You're going to go scout out and try to find the wizards. You're gonna kill the wizards. And then you're gonna set up for DPS. So overall, kind of an easier encounter than what you have had earlier it, because it's more DPS based, but it builds on top of the things you've already done throughout the raid encounter. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.